at Numerian Capital, we bring you the latest stock news each day. Please like and subscribe so we can bring these articles to you each day. Thank you. Today, September 9, 2023, CFO expects falling battery costs in 2024. Rivian's rising gross profit per vehicle delivered could see another boost. Rivian Chief Financial Officer Claire McDonough expects battery material costs to fall into the end of the year and in 2024. This should benefit Rivian by increasing the company's margins. Rivian stock is up more than 30% so far this year. The prices for electric vehicle battery components have run rampant over the past few years in light of increasing adoption and supply chain inefficiencies. However, Rivian, Nasdaq RIVN, Chief Financial Officer Claire McDonough believes that the company will benefit from battery material price deflation into the end of 2023 and in 2024. At a Goldman Sachs conference, McDonough explained that falling battery raw material costs could give a boost to Rivian's margins as well as its competitors' margins. According to Trend Force, the falling costs is attributable to slowing demand for electric vehicles. Still, slowing demand isn't a good factor, despite its possible counter-effect of reducing battery raw material costs. Rivian, which has emerged as a leading EV contender, is currently ramping up production of its in-house drive unit. The unit is expected to result in cost savings benefits, improve production efficiency and reduce Rivian's reliance on third-party suppliers. According to Inside EVs, the unit also slightly increases the range of the R1T and R1S models. CFO calls for lower battery raw material costs. For 2023, Rivian has guided for production of 52,000 vehicles, which was raised from the initial 50,000 target. That reflects an over 100% increase from last year's production of 24,337 vehicles. During the second quarter of 2023, Rivian produced 13,992 vehicles and delivered 12,640 of them. These deliveries improved by 59% compared to the first quarter. Based on these numbers, it's safe to say that production is ramping up. Furthermore, the R1S accounted for about 70% of total R1 production. This was the first quarter in which we produced more R1S vehicles than R1T vehicles, said Rivian in its second quarter shareholder letter. Over the long term, we believe consumer mix will be more heavily weighted toward the R1S. While production has increased, gross profit has risen but is still negative. During second quarter, Rivian churned out a net loss of $412 million marking an improvement year-over-year year from a net loss of $704 million. At the same time, gross profit per vehicle delivered grew by a significant $35,000 compared to the first quarter. Falling battery raw material costs will only improve these margins. Since fourth quarter of 2021, Rivian's quarterly production and deliveries have increased every quarter except from fourth quarter of 2022 to first quarter of 2023. This trend shows a company in full stride as part of the costly production race. Thanks for watching.